Welcome to the Back to Life series at Be Tough. Join us as we go behind the scenes and check out some of the best hot rod fabrication in Bakersfield at HS Body Works. Well, we're out here with George Anderson, no stranger to the H&S Back to Life series. We just stuff with you in the past. And man, we got a couple things here to look at today that are outstanding. And uh, man, this one is outrageous. So I'm gonna show it to him first, is that okay? Sure. All right, talk about what year this is and what we're looking at. This is a 1967 Chevy uh, Nova. Uh, it's got a 383 small block stroker. Wow. Uh, it's all frame off, body work done by H&S. Uh, the poster was done by Loopy at uh, Custom Landau. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's all TCI chassis, front and rear. It's on a it's on a coilover suspension, right? All coilover suspension. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Now, I notice all the badges are gone, right? You removed all the badges yeah, off the car. Smooth, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's nice. So tell us about the motor here. This is a pretty trick. That small block Chevrolet 383 stroker motor. Uh, fast port injection. Wow. How much horsepower do you get out of have some turning into something injected? This is probably 550 horsepower. Wow, that's a lot for the street. It's a lot for that. the street. It's yeah. more than you need by a long shot, but it's fun. Yeah. Are they maintenance? I mean, how's the maintenance on them compared to like a carburetor? Pretty maintenance free. Yeah? Dependable. Okay. Um, don't have to pump the gas to start it. Fires right up. It's economical and it's horsepower when you need it. Yeah, I like the strut system here. And like who built, that's all a TCI stuff? This is all a TCI front clip, yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. That probably helps a lot of the rigidity, right, with the car, right. it's like, so don't flex. Right. Yeah, that's cool. I love this work too. So does this come with it, like? No, this was, this was made. It was made, okay. Yeah, that's clean, definitely. Looks like you went to a tubular upper A-arm. Yeah, Right. it's all TCI tubular tubular uh, upper and lower control arms yeah power steering rack electric fan of course you have yeah. a problem keeping this thing cool at all no no you don't okay not at all wow no i like the interior too it's there's all stock yeah, it's all stock right yeah now is this is this exactly how it would look from the factory yeah it is okay mm -hmm. yeah it smells like old school like you just smell I was like, yeah. Matter of fact, that's factory. Is it? Yeah, that's neat. I like that. The bench seat in the back. Yeah, that's cool. Now, was this factory right here? Is different. It's all factory. It is. That's how it came from the factory. It's a re, it's a re Yeah, it's, it's that's what same, it looked like. Same look. Yeah. I saw you went with the uh, Bluetooth stereo. That looks like original, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is a really nice car. This is a fun car. Yeah, I bet. Now tell us about the, let's talk about the tires and wheels because I know that you said that it could use something more softer, a softer compound maybe. Yeah, it could use a softer compound, a little, a little, a little more tire. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they've got a center cap to cover the hub. Yeah. How much wider can you go on that? You really can't, right? Without narrowing up the rear. <laughs> you can't, you can't really. Unless you do inner fender well work. Yeah. Whoa. Built for a guy that likes to go fast. I heard you say you thought it's almost too much motor, right? Well, it's too much motor for the tires that are on the car. Okay. You could go to a softer compound, bigger tire, make it work better, but these, these won't hold this power. things to the rear suspension to get a little bit more traction no you're gonna have to go to a, you'll have to go to a gear and a, and a good set of tires a little bit a little bit more tire how long you work on something like this 
George? These cars are, are all a year plus. Yeah? Yeah, it's, uh, it, you know, you got to blow it all apart in a million pieces. Uh, refurbish what you can uh, and what you can't. You have to make some of this stuff and then let the body body shop do their thing, which Dick does very nice stuff. Yeah. Now this gas cap here, is this how they did them back in the day? Yes, a little it is. twist off here? Yes. Well, all right. But the trouble we have with this, is we can't get it to clock right without re-drilling and rebuilding. Yeah. That's the original one that came on the car? Yeah. You put it back together and it's... <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. You'd have to redo it all, right? Yeah. We have to rebuild that. Now, you can't get that part. They're not going to make... They won't make it straight. They won't. They came from the factory with that tilt yeah, on it? Is, yeah. It is. Okay. Yes, it's like that to, for, for this. Oh, all right. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Beautiful car. And uh, thanks for the ride in it. That was a lot of fun, right? Yeah. That's what I say. It's a fun car. Yeah. This is a driver, right? You say you like to build cars for drivers, right? These, all these cars are drivers. They're not trailer queens. Yeah. All right. Got to enjoy them. I'll enjoy it. If you haven't, use it. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks for showing it to us.